we got have time to do that now. I think that the, the reason I asked the question is because it's... I'm going to give it to you in a minute. Yeah, I, I'm not rushing you. Uh, the, the reason I'm asking the question is, you know, the selectmen who have been doing our, our, our taxes down, which is wonderful, keep doing it, but my fear is that, you know, we're only spending, we're spending 60 or or $100,000 a year. That's, that's, that's not true. We budget for special projects about 75000 and then we start pulling from our general road budget, which is uh, right around 90000 to do summer maintenance and upkeep of roads. So you're looking at about say $150,000 to maintain the roads in Brookfield on an annual basis. Right, so my concern, so my concern is that, that that's not enough or that's too much. Right. I mean, it's a it's a big number, but if the reality is that in order to keep our roads drivable, that we really need to be on average spending three or four hundred thousand dollars a year, we need to know that. And well, what I, I would I would rather be have our taxes go up a little bit now Ooh. and not dig ourselves a big hole, rather than ten years from now have like all of our roads look like in front of Nate Weeks' house. Well, when right I now. first came yeah. to this, when I first got involved in this town. The road budget was about ninety thousand dollars. That wasn't enough. that was including snow removal. Uh, there wasn't much to do anything. Um, and over the last seven years, we've increased the road budget to about one hundred and seventy thousand dollars. So we've added about eighty thousand dollars to it. Plus, we have special warrant articles now to deal with major projects like the Four Corners area. So we've added, we've added about $150,000 to this road budget over the last nine years. And uh, what we have is adequate to maintain what we have. We're just not going to have perfect roads. You live in New England. Oh, well, I'm fine with that. Okay. Uh, in fact, somebody, it must have been Eddie or one of his guys, built some of the worst potholes in front of the house with gravel. And it was like, instead of, one of them was really impressive. I could have planted a big tree in there. But, uh, <laughs> Probably should have. <laughs> um, anyway, it's, you know, I, I'm just concerned that we're, things are, gonna, that the roads are going to keep getting worse rather than maintaining status quo or, or getting better. Anyway, get, Gary, your number? Yeah, yeah. If, if it's managed properly, uh, if you hire somebody to go fix the roads, you're going you're gonna to pay whatever they want to rip you off for. When I say manage property, you, you set the road agent on a mission and say, this is what you're going to do. You're going to distribute 200 yards of gravel, six inches thick on a road, and he's going to go out there and he's going to charge machine time and hand labor, et cetera. What's the number, man? Uh, about $136,000 for a mile of road. <coughs> That's not pulling out <coughs> any rocks or adding any culverts. It's going to get more than that if you have to add culverts. Are you talking about grinding the road? And yes, grinding the road, putting in a gravel base along with the grinding of the existing asphalt. What, the grinding is what, 25 cents a foot? Uh-huh. What do you mean, uh-huh? No, the last grinding we did was like a dollar something a square foot. Nah. Or a dollar foot. Oh, 25 cents a square foot. No. But it's it a, it's, like a, it's the, a dollar and a quarter to buy pavement. Looks like the committee's going to have well, a great time. Maybe not this place. year because it wasn't last year either. Well, somebody raped the town then, okay? Pike. Because Pike, that Pike charged when they did, when they did Clark Road, because I was on the building committee for that. They charged twenty-five cents a foot to that grind was six the road. years ago. Seven it has it gone up four times? It, a pavement may because of the price of oil. Then somebody over Pike. It, it, 25 cents a foot is what they charge because I was on it. And what it cost to do that road was $86,000 to do, and that was a mile of road there, but they didn't put any base under it. If it's only going to be $130,000, $136,000. If it was going to be $140,000 to do a mile of Stoneham Road, I'd do a mile on Stoneham Road. Well, the point is if you tell an independent contractor, give me a bid on this, he's going to charge you $250,000. If you tell Pike Industries, because this is how we worked it, Ernie was the head of the committee at the time, and we didn't, we told Cy Moody what we wanted done. Right. And Cy Moody told Pike what they wanted done, and I did the analysis on what it should cost per square foot based on Pike's prices. Yeah. So once we gave, Bob Leonard and I did it. So once we gave, we told Pike what they were doing it for. Pike gave us a price to do X number of feet 
we analyzed it in a different way and said, this is how much you're getting for grinding per square foot, this is how much you're getting for pavement per square foot, and this is how much you're getting for X per square foot. We put all those things together and said, this is what you gave us a price on. We're choosing option A, B, C, and D only in this area. We're choosing option C over here and option B over there. And this is what we're paying to get it done. And they didn't have a choice because they gave us a price. But you have to manage that. You just can't give a, a, a contract and say, we want to fix this. Because you're going to rape the hell out of the town. It's only it works. I know. Uh, I think, I think, it's not hard. I think Gary gave us a fixed price bid. Oh, yeah, I, if I could, any, you know, any mile of road, one hundred and thirty-six thousand dollars. Well, it'll depend. <laughs> you know, I don't know the price. <laughs> I don't know the price of asphalt now. That's well, the other key. Oil, 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 oil has oil. changed that. It could be. They might be getting two dollars fifty cents a foot now. They were getting a dollar. Actually, when we did Clark mm -hmm. Road, they were getting eighty-five cents a foot. I have no idea what it is now. Seventy-five cents. Considerably more. Well, yeah. So I mean, I, and I didn't base that on knowledge. So, but the, the gravel wasn't any more expensive. And a guy with a dozer isn't any more expensive. Well, I'll use another $25 an hour, but you're it's not talking giant money to push gravel out, the greater. I mean, I, I, I used to have to do this. So, so, so you lead the committee then. <laughs> I'll do it. Thank you. The road um, committee should be in charge of this. The road minutes. committee should well, be the, the people that understand what's going on in that industry <coughs> to help the town manage this stuff. I Are you sitting on the road committee now? Well, I'm not on the road committee. You should talk to Brad and Ernie and get back on. I, I don't mind getting input to this from the road committee, but I don't want, you know, there, we should have some sort of mention. I mean, you're good with architecture. I mean, you built this building. And, and so I, I hope that it won't just be roads this year. It'll be any suggestions you might have on this building and that building. And, you know, I, I don't think it's going to be a whole lot. But uh, I know the roads are the big issue. You're going to pay somebody for that. I, I know. I know. But, um, but October, that's the timeline. Cliff? We would have to have some. September. September, oh, okay. We just lost the month. No. Yeah, yeah I, I just have a few more. I said in September. September. Right? Yeah, yeah, September. September. Yeah. With them. I, we'll, we'll make it work. We'll figure something out. He was adding a month. All right, then. The planning, board's, the planning board report is due January 15th. Right, but the whole point of doing a capital improvement program is to, to give it to the selectmen so that they can use it for their budgeting purposes. Yeah, but uh, I have a notation on every road in this town on what condition it's in. Yeah, now, I'm not questioning it. I'm just saying, you know, that's just for it to be useful to them. That's the whole point of the thing. You know. Yeah, well, it's pretty, it's all just arithmetic at the end of that. You know, that's all it is. All right, so we've beaten this horse. All right. Good. Let's, and uh, let's, let's move on. Right. Any member comments? We go to gravel pits now, officially. Oh yes, we do have to talk about that gravel pits. Uh, you volunteered gravel for pits. that. Do you still want to volunteer for that? Yeah, I'll go down and take a look at both of them. Okay. Sure. Do you need a motion or is that enough? Well, we appointed them last time. We don't need. I'm going to do something. Go get it done now. Yes. What and I want to do is write another letter and tell us what you found. I did, and I, I did last time. I'll do it for some. I got permission <laughs> from what's his name to. A Smith to go in their property, meet yep. them there if they will, and then I give them a copy of the letter after I present it to the board. And okay. All right. So that's that. Uh, there's no big rush on that, of course. It just needs to be done once a year. Uh, you can actually see it now. It's still water. Member comments? Any comments? I think we've gone over everything twice. All right, then. Meetings adjourned. We will be meeting on the 25th. For the special meeting for what's her name again? Uh, Sydney Cole. I do just have a quick announcement. Yes. On, uh, 8 o'clock a.m. on the 15th, I'm meeting with Michelle on to uh, UTAC, which is the, uh, the energy audit for this building. Mm -hmm. For this town? For this town. Okay. So she's going to give me a presentation of you know what the you know how the whole thing works and what's available and stuff like that, funding wise and what happens, and then sometime after that we're going to have. Mm -hmm. And that's the one the selectmen organized? Yes. Okay. All right. Meeting's adjourned. See you on the 25th. Everybody, I, uh, I, this is unofficial. The meeting's over. I'm, I'm asking you uh, personally, uh, my grandson is going to be involved in the uh, in hiking trail for, for camp. For scouting. For scouting. And I'm hoping that uh, you all consider sponsoring him for this process. It will be a good job for him to be involved in scouting. So. 
I've already had two of them come to my house. I sponsored the two of them. Danzaro's kids and uh, Danzaro get up to your place. That's because I bought firewood. <laughs> yeah. All right. He knows a good thing when he sees it.